Hi guys, I'm Clover, yes, like the butter, and this is my YouTube channel. So today's video is sort of an update, or an additional video, to a previous video I made before about my five vitally important things for people with HEDS. Um, so I've sort of I've updated a few of them, and I've accumulated a few more, so this is what this sort of video is, but an update and an addition to that one. Um, so without further ado, I will take you to the video. So guys, like I said, I will be going to update a few bits and bobs from my previous video. If you are interested in it, I will leave a link in the iCards above me. Um, but it's an update and also some additional things. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is an update. So I've said in my previous video, a pregnancy pillow is vital. Absolutely amazing. I do still have my old pregnancy pillow. But my life has been, like, universally changed since I had this new one. So I will show you it now. It is my big grey beast. I can't fully show you on the, on the video, but they have these little silicon rubber bits that you can move up and down so you can make the beads really firm or really soft which is what I really like about it. It's really snuggly, it really holds its shape and you can put it in any way, shape, or form or anything you basically need. Um, it is made by a company called BB Hug Me which it says on here. BB Hug Me. Um, they are quite expensive, I think this one was about £138 so I know it's a big Oh my god, that's a lot of money, but I got mine, thankfully, my, my family clubbed together and helped me get it for my birthday, but it's literally been a lifesaver, like, I thought pregnancy photos were good before, this was like a completely new level, so I'm going to leave a link down in the description below, definitely recommend BB Hug Me, I'm not sure if they make them in any other countries, but obviously I do know they make them in the UK, you can buy them off Amazon or the actual company itself, free back around, they come in loads of different colours, um, I just went for the grey because I'm quite simple like that, but I think they had like, a coral or blue or various different things because like, they are pregnancy pillows they are sort of vibrant and designed for new mums and kids but for EDS absolutely vital so that's the first one. The second one on our list is a adapted sort of drinking apparatus that was really fancy but you know what I mean so the first one is this sort of cup which you can buy I will leave a link down the description below I think it's NRS I think I've got mine from um, the company so they have a little sippy cup lid easy peasy the only unfortunate thing with this is it does leak if it sips over because it is a straw but there is a hole unfortunately um, but it is really lightweight it's really it's especially designed for people who have to difficulties drinking and difficulties like you know if you have difficulty sucking or if you're having like a really bad jaw day it can be quite difficult to like suck because it's really good just to literally be able to pour this in your mouth it's really good um the only downside with this obviously it doesn't have that much liquid in it so i don't know about you guys but for me um i tend to get dehydrated really quickly um, and i drink a lot throughout the day so this one's really good if you just need to take some pills you're having a really bad pain day but unfortunately you do fill up quite a lot so it can be a bit of a pain so that's the one first option um, the second one, nice and cheap, uh, as you can see, snazzy Halloween cups, um, are just lightweight plastic cups. You can get them from basically any like small, like cheap store, like Poundland. I think I got these from Bargain Buys, from Home Bargains. They're usually about 50p to a pound each. Maybe I think I got mine when it was closing down, it was about 30p. If you don't mind them being Halloween or Christmas themed, you can usually find them really cheap in the reduced section after those holidays. Um, but yeah, really recommend these. The difficulty with these, obviously, is the weight of them. So they are really lightweight, and when you fill them up, you know, there's a lot of liquid, but obviously that makes it quite heavy. So that can be a bit of a downside. But what I tend to do with these is use a lightweight plastic cup and also a straw. I have a metal bendable straw, which is currently in the dishwasher right now, which is why I haven't got it for this video. Um, but I'll also leave a link down the description for those. Um, there's, so there's, I've got straight metal straws which are easy, you can attach to your key rings and I've got bendel metal straws which are really useful as well so definitely recommend because you don't want to be adding to the plastic issue I know these are lightweight plastic cups but unfortunately they don't have any lightweight other material but hopefully they'll make you some reusable ones at some point but anyway, lightweight plastic cups so these are sort of cheaper option if you are on a budget I definitely recommend, like I said, go to some of those cheaper shops especially out of season, you know, you could put in January, February time you'll be able to find Christmas ones that are like reduced to clear for like 10p or something but yeah, definitely recommend these because these are really good to get enough liquid in and throughout the day, really good at it um, but the third option, and this is a pretty cool one so these are originally designed for, I think, toddlers or babies basically to sort of show them how to drink so it's quite a big cup, quite lightweight um, it's thick, hardy plastic so it's not going to break but it's not heavy plastic which is really good um, and the topper is really simple it screws on and it's, it's quite easy to screw it's not tough which is good for my wrists um, if I can peel this back it literally is this so it doesn't leak at all but the way you work it is by sucking on it again if you do have an issue with obviously using your mouth muscles if your jaw is very sore then this might be the option for you but I find it really easy because the difficulty I have with this one like I said earlier it is lovely but it does spill and the same with this one obviously if you spill these over and I'm very clumsy and drop things quite a lot not the best so this is a really good option if you you know they don't look like baby cups really is what I personally think which is really nice because that 
that's the difficulty with disability sometimes when you're adapting things you can be a bit like oh, i don't really want to look like i'm wearing using a baby cap um but they're really good really lightweight really good for uh, like long car journeys or traveling in bits and bobs because you can easily pick them up like i said i can throw them side by side not hurting at all um really lightweight and they're really simple just to suck on so yeah really really good definitely recommend these so these are the three sort of options i will leave links in the description below if i can find these um this i didn't actually originally buy this i got this from my brother um, but the brand is Munchkin, so I'll have a look and see if I can find any links for you. So I have no idea what the price is. But if not, definitely recommend something that looks like this. Okay, the three different options. These three. Oh, they're definitely my second one. Adapted cups. And thirdly, guys, um, this is sort of along the same theme. So this is adapted cutlery. Um, again, I'm not 100% where you can buy these from because I got them from my occupational therapist because. Um, I was basically really struggling and couldn't really use any form of normal cutlery. Um, I would try and find a reasonably priced link and I'll leave it down in the description below, but they're really simple. They've got little notches on them to be able to hold on to. They're quite sharp, which is good. Obviously not too sharp to hurt yourself, but sharp to be able to, be able to cut through things. They're nice and decent you can hold on with your whole hand. So I was really lucky I got a full set. So I got a knife, a spoon. The spoon's nice and shaped because it means you can get it in your mouth and you still hold on to it properly. And again, I find it really difficult to just hold a spoon without supposed to be held. So I tend to grip onto it like that and it's nice and simple. Um, same with the teaspoon. The teaspoon's really good. They're dishwasher safe, which is amazing. This one's just been through the dishwasher now. Um, and because that's been a massive issue with me being, being in the dishwasher. And this is my lovely fork. Again, it has a little notch on to hold. So if you, you can hold it like this. Again, I find it quite difficult to hold normal cutlery because it's really painful. But the notches and being able to hold it with your full hand is really, really useful. So I definitely recommend adaptive cutlery. You can find like stupidly expensive ones and like ones you can take out with you in bits and bobs. But to be honest, I think these aren't super expensive. I'll try and find a cheap option for you and like I said the good thing about adaptive cutlery is you can take it with you but there is a lot of different types of things I've seen online where you can get adaptive cutlery that comes with like its own cleaning things so you can literally take it out to restaurants because unfortunately what usually happens when you go out is you go oh can I have a lightweight cup can I have um, adaptive cutlery and they look at you like you've got seven heads um, so that's definitely my third one adaptive cutlery is vital obviously I think you can get a snazzier colours than this but this is from my occupational therapist so I quite like my little beige but yes definitely adaptive cutlery that's the third one so guys, last but certainly not least, this is my absolutely vital thing. I mentioned it before in my previous videos, but it is K-Tape. So I think it's called Kinsentology Tape. Please don't quote me on that um, pronunciation. But basically, you can buy it from anywhere. This, I think, it was like a little version. I can't even remember. So it, the brand is SOS, so sportsandoutdoorsuperstore.com. Um, but you can get it from lots of different links. You can buy it from Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below. Um, I'm usually saying Amazon because that's the easiest one for me personally because I have Prime and it makes it a lot easier because I find going out to places quite difficult because I have found them in Lidl's before um, you can get proper brand K-Tape or you can get off brand but they're really good because you can just cut off whatever strip you need and especially for me where I need like my joints being pulled back into place there's lots of different YouTube videos on about like how to do it and I've got thankfully I've got a physiotherapist and a chiropractor who have told me how to do it before so I know what joints do what so this so you can see in blue I've got black I've got pink I've got green there's multiple different colors so if you're a bit like me and sometimes you want to feel super flamboyant and you can have like bright purple amazing and other times it's like you know I'm just gonna rock some black it's pretty cool but yeah this blue is a pretty pretty consistent one um, it's really good because it's quite cheap as far as I know it's something like for a big roll it's like four or five pound which isn't a lot at all obviously you use quite a bit at a time um, the more expensive brands are more adhesive so they do stay on longer but if you just want a quick fix until you know you're going to hospital or you're going to a chiropractor or physio or anything like that definitely recommend this so I'll leave a link down in the description below um, like I explained basically it holds your joints in the place it needs you to be so if my shoulders dislocated forward for example and all my muscles are just having a meltdown basically it will pull it back into the right position hold it there for everything to heal so really really important one thing I haven't got with me, but I forgot to mention last time, is I've obviously said about hot water bottles, but if you do have one, an ice pack is vital. Reusable ice packs are super important for this exact reason. So you can take, you can ice it to relax all the muscles down and then tape it and it really aids with the healing process. Again, obviously we're not really gonna heal because it's sort of a continuous thing with EDS. You continuously have desiccations, but it will help reduce the ongoing damage that's being caused and help Maybe if it's going to take two or three days to heal, it might take a day and a half or something if you use these things. But yeah, definitely reckon, recommend K-Tape. So that is my last and final tip.
So guys, I hope you found today's video informative and useful to yourselves. Um, if you want to check out my socials, they're down in the link below. If you check out my GoFundMe page, I am still fundraising for my wheelchair. I know I keep banging on about this, but please, if you can share around, that'd be absolutely amazing. Um, if you want to have any ride you'd like to, you can like, subscribe, or ding the bell to be notified when I make another video. And when my videos go in your sub box, and you'll see them there. Um, obviously not with that cool sound effect, but that'd be awesome. Um, and if you want to join in my hashtag 100 subs by September movement, please share around and try and get some more popularity for this channel because I am trying to spread a good message about my EDS. Anyway, I think that's enough same shameless self-plugging and everything for one video. And I hope this video has been useful for you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!